Hi, my name is Rochelle Smith, entrepreneur, professional speaker, and author. Last time, I highlighted the importance of overcoming failure and realizing that failure is going to happen to us as card-carrying members of the human race. We are all going to fail in various aspects of our lives. So the most important thing is to realize that we're not perfect, life is not perfect, and we can learn from those experiences and most importantly, tell ourselves, as my awesome eraser says, not again. You know, we're running around the same mountain if we're making those same mistakes again, and that's a problem. But this time, I actually wanted to take this whole concept of failure one step further. And that is to really look at two specific areas in terms of how this fear of failure impacts individuals. And the first area is in terms of a fear of failure, folks won't try something. It literally will cause this trepidation and this fear of pursuing something, pursuing an opportunity. That fear of failure causes people to kind of step back and say, you know, what if it doesn't work out? Um, what if somebody tells me no? Um, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And we know that what if is always the hallmark of fear, right? And the second aspect of this fear of failure, that's so important, and that is when people have a fear of failure, they have a tendency, or we have a tendency as human beings, to stay in situations, particularly bad situations, unhappy situations, far longer than we should. Because there's this whole notion of, as I alluded to last time, what are people going to say? What are people going to think? I'm going to look like a failure, and I don't want to deal with the shame, embarrassment, whatever the case may be. And as I told you, and I challenged you to be set free from this whole notion of what is everybody going to say? What is everybody going to think? Because quite honestly, if you're living your life that way, you're never going to be happy. And I want you to be happy. And so I actually, this is something that's kind of inspired me for the last, what, 48 hours. It's kind of been circulating on the rotisserie of my mind. And this kind of, this aspect of a failure, failure, and how it keeps you in bad situations. And I wanted to first highlight how this impacts relationships. And I wanted to highlight one that you've heard me mention before. And if you've heard me speak, if you've heard, if you've read my book, Inspiration, A Common Life Cure, you kind of understand what's going on. And certainly if you've known me long enough, you've actually probably witnessed it. And so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that is how this fear of failure can, can impact your relationships. And next time I'll talk about how this fear of failure impacts your professional life and your career. But this time I wanted to take a look, basically just to highlight what essentially was a doomed relationship. I mean, it was just doomed. I mean, doomed from day one. Um, I was 18, of course, I was in Louisiana at the time, and this was, and if you know my story, and this is actually something that I've highlighted before, and it's in one of my books, is that my college dream was to go to college in Puerto Rico, and I was all ready to go, it was going to be great, I was looking forward to it, and um, essentially, to make a long story short, I chose kind of pursuing this relationship or staying in this relationship over going to Puerto Rico, which was my dream. And so that kind of explains why I ended up going to under, undergraduate college in Louisiana and why I actually started a semester late. But I still finished in three and a half years. So even starting a semester late, I still finished early. And so, of course, went year round. But that particular relationship, folks, I was 18. He was 23. And what this fear of failure in a relationship, and, and, and if you listen to me, you'll, you'll, you've got to be able to relate to anybody who's dated a probably at least three people, you know exactly, particularly if you've been in some bad relationships, you know exactly what I mean. And this is this whole notion, and this is why I mentioned it was kind of triggered 48 hours ago, is that Saturday night I was watching this Lifetime movie. 18 year old girl, she's in this relationship with this guy who's bad for her, you know, her mother and her mother's fiance and all her friends, people are kind of looking around in horror, like please let her wake up to the reality of what she's into and what's going on. And so my case was very, very similar, except of course he was in the Air Force and ultimately got kicked out of the Air Force. And I was 18, he was 23, and no one approved of our relationship. And you have not lived until you've been into one of those, you've been in one of those situations where everybody is against you. <laughs> and it feels like it's you and this person against the world. And of course, looking back now through the lens of wisdom, yes, I can laugh, but it wasn't funny then. But but one thing that truly humbles me as I look back and I laugh on this situation is that I was truly at a crossroads. Yes, I gave up my dream. And that's what the fear of failure will basically, you will tell yourself, I gave up X for this. I gave up Y for this. 
You know, what are people going to say? In my case, it was everybody's going to say, I told you so. How often do we think that, right? And so in my case, it was everybody's going to say, I told you so, whatever. But ultimately, what it came down, folks, is that I was at a crossroads where I had to choose and make a decision. Whereas if I was, I'm going to continue in this relationship and, you know, he wanted to get married. And I truly ultimately woke up and I dodged a bullet. I dodged a big bullet and I am so grateful. And that's, you know, people always say you're so humble and you're so down to earth about what you've accomplished. But that is because folks, I know that I'm blessed. I'm blessed that I woke up. I'm blessed that I woke up before I ran and hit that brick wall. Cause I was running towards that brick wall in terms of this relationship, dooming my life. I was running full speed. And fortunately I was able to slow down <laughs> and stop, <laughs> reflect, and ultimately decided to run in the other direction. And so unlike many of the Lifetime movies that we see, and un unlike many of the, the countless relationship disasters that, that exist kind of on the planet, it's not even just in this country, it's just human nature as far as relationships go, it's, it's easy to make these bad relational decisions that will impact and doom your future, particularly for young people, but it happens if, to people of all ages. And so what I want to do is challenge you to really look at your relationships and ask yourself, is it a fear? Is a fear of failure causing me as you as was true in my case? Am I staying in this bad situation for fear of what is everybody going to say? What is everybody going to think? Because I know in my particular case, uh, nobody said a word. People were actually so elated when I when I broke that off and I decided to, of course, you know, my career, my future, I was not going to compromise. You know, I was kind of in that jacked up situation to borrow from the vernacular for a little while. But ultimately, as will always be the case, my career and my future, my ambition worn out, worn out in that particular scenario. But I just know, I mean, I was so, I could have been so doomed. And I don't want anybody to be doomed. But essentially what you have to do is ask yourself, am I letting what somebody may say or think keep me in a situation I don't want to be in, an unhealthy situation, an unhappy situation, a miserable situation? And this is just true for relationships in general. We have multiplied millions of people who are in all kinds of relational situations that they don't want to be in, that aren't good for them, that aren't working. Because why? They're so insecure and they lack confidence and can't take positive actions to, to move in the right directions towards happiness, towards fulfillment, towards a life purpose and waking up every day being grateful for their relationships or being so happy because they're in great relationships. Okay, so folks, I was young. I learned my lesson, and as my awesome eraser says, not again, <laughs> but that's the type of attitude you need to take. So ultimately, I consider failure, I have a different perspective on failure as I highlighted last week. Before it was, you know, I gave up Puerto Rico again. When I'm thinking about that old, that old situation of, you know, I gave up Puerto Rico, you know, I had my dreams and my goals, but ultimately I made it work. My achievements, my ambitions and everything all panned out. So you just need to know that that fear can kind of hold you back and you wonder, well, what if and what if this doesn't work out? What if that doesn't work out? But folks, you deserve to be happy. I could tell you that a thousand times, but unless you believe it, you will continue to stay stuck and trapped in situations that aren't working for you based on a fear of failure. And so, folks, we're all human. We're going to have relational ups and downs, relationships that work, relationships that don't work. But don't be a casualty. Don't wake up every day regretting the situation that you're in. Take positive steps towards change and happiness in your life. Thanks so much for your time. Make it a wonderful day.